Guilty of all charges. That's a verdict for Haley Danderan. She now faces life in prison for the murder and kidnapping of Telma Boyneville on Oahu's North Shore back in 2017. During the trial, Danderan took the stand in her own defense, claiming she was a victim of domestic abuse. KITV4's Ali Dukalo spoke with a legal expert to find out why that didn't work in her case. Throughout the trial, Dan Duran tried to pin the murder on her ex-boyfriend Stephen Brown, who was found guilty of the charges back in January. It's the same tactic he tried on her, but of course was unsuccessful. Jury verdict has been received and it is unanimous. The court therefore judges you guilty. Dan Duran, guilty of all charges. Kidnapping Telma Boyneville and her then eight-year-old daughter Makana in a North Shore vacation rental she and Brown burglarized in 2017, killing Boyneville, breaking into her family's truck, then charging her debit card. Legal expert Doug Chin explains in trials such as this, in which two defendants blame each other, it all comes down to the evidence for the jury. I think the evidence was just so strong and overwhelming um, that ultimately both juries uh, decided that they weren't going to agree with that account. As for Dan Duran's claim, Brown abused her and coerced her into helping with Boyneville's murder. Chin says arguments involving domestic violence have been effective in other cases. But I think in this incident, because of the gruesomeness of the details and because of all of the other evidence that uh, law enforcement was able to put together, uh, the jury just didn't buy it. Now, the 12-member jury must decide whether Dan Duran should get extended sentencing, meaning life in prison without parole. That involves another hearing, during which the defense may call upon some of Dan Duran's family members to testify. So it would make sense that the defense would then want to bring up um, character witnesses to speak on behalf of Ms. Dan Duran, or even to revisit the the whole theory that they presented during the trial that she was suffering from abuse. Dan Duran's extended sentencing hearing is set for Thursday. Aali Iduklo, KITV4 Island News.